good morning dear students uh, in the last class we have discussed the questions from the textbook part that is the drill time we have completed today we are going to start with the workbook so students please get ready with the workbook it should be in your hand right now and please see the explanation properly and after that you can write down the answers in your workbook wherever the place is mentioned and uh, students one thing uh, whenever you want to write down anything you can pause the video and you can write down the answer in your workbook immediately fine so students let us start please take out your workbook uh, and go to page number 12 in page number 12 students the uh, question that is i recall part is there 2.1 that is uh, multiple choice questions fine so let us go ahead with that question number one patterns created by humans are called now question number one is that patterns created by human are called what now obviously students anything which is created by human that means not natural that will be artificial so question number one the answer will be option number a that is artificial patterns number two find the uh, missing number in the given pattern so the pattern is like this 3 9 15 so and we need to find out the missing number now student if you see it is something like that how much it is increasing 3 plus 6 9 then it is again 9 plus 6 15 and 15 plus 6 it will be how much 21 so the option number which option you can say option number b that is uh, option number b 21 is correct for number 2 number 3 a zebra has a zebra has dash pattern now students you see zebra is an animal obviously it's a natural thing so that means you can say the zebra has a natural pattern so that means number b will be correct that is natural that means the pattern on the body of the uh, the design that is made on the body of the zebra that is a natural pattern you can say now let us come for the next question that is i remember and understand 2.1 that is multiple choice questions the next part here question number four if you see question number four Patterns can be linear, circular or dash. That will be option number C, symmetrical. That means patterns can be symmetrical also. So that we have already seen that how patterns are uh, symmetric. So that is the answer number C, symmetrical. Number five, that is the patterns that continue and uh, continue endlessly are called dash patterns. Now students, which those patterns which are infinite which are not ending anywhere so that means that will be option number a and that will be infinite now infinite the word meaning is that which does not end countless number six that is uh, dash can have vertical or horizontal lines of symmetry now the options are number a natural objects now students natural objects can also have both type of lines of symmetry then number b numbers also have like letter 8 if you see uh, sorry the number 8 you can say number 8 we can have this line of symmetry also like this also so that means the let, uh, numbers also have both line of symmetry and you can say uh, artificial objects also that is which are made by human so those are all those can also have a uh, uh, vertical and a horizontal line of symmetry so option number d will be correct that is it will be all of this that is all of this will have vertical and horizontal both line of symmetry now let us come for the next question that is uh, number seven that is fill in the blanks number seven the figure dash has a vertical line of symmetry then the figure you can see figure is like this so we can say that it can be divided equally into two parts like this so it is a what line sir it's a you can say it's a vertical so we will say it's a vertical line of symmetry so the answer will be very the blanks it will be vertical number eight the figure that is has a dashed line of symmetry and this will be now horizontal it will be horizontal because the figure that you can see the figure is like this so we have to divide it like this so it cannot be divided vertically so this this line of symmetry is called what horizontal line of symmetry so that is the uh, number eight number nine in dash symmetry an object or shape is divided into equal left and right now students when we divide like this say take this example this is the left part and this is the right part 
so you can say this is one line of symmetry this is a vertical one so vertical line of symmetry divides one object into two identical part one is left part one is right so the answer will be in vertical horizontal when it divides we get the top half and the bottom half not left and right so that means the answer of number 9 will be vertical so that is uh, question number 9 fill in the blanks let us come for number 10 now very short answer question in number 10 students if you see what are such uh, you can uh, some objects called if each half of them has the same shape and size as the other so obviously students when one figure uh, have two identical half which are same so those figures are called what symmetrical objects so we can write symmetrical symmetrical objects so that is s y double m e t r i c a l symmetrical objects number 11 how many axes of symmetry does the given object have now students we will consider the figure given is a circle now circle will have how many line of symmetry or how many lines of uh, you can say axis of symmetry it, it can be divided like this also like this also so you can divide it into two identical part in uh, so many times or uh, through so many ways you can say so a circle will have infinite number of line of symmetry so number 11 we can say that it has infinite that means how many uh, excess of symmetry does the given object have that will be infinite it will be having fine so that is number 11 now number 12 does a line of symmetry divide any figure into exact half that is yes because the line of symmetry divides any figure into two identical half or equal half so obviously the answer will be yes so that is still question number 12. Now let's come for number 13. Question number 13. Uh, short answer question. Draw an object with a horizontal line of symmetry. Now student, that's your choice. I will draw for, by my side. It's not necessary that that figure will have you have to also draw. You can take any one figure which can have a horizontal line of symmetry. Say suppose I am taking the letter D capital letter D. Now D can be divided only through horizontal line of symmetry because vertically it is not possible. Vertically if you divide it will not be equal. Both the halves will not be equal. So I will draw a capital letter D and that it will have a horizontal line of symmetry. Fine. That is my figure. You can draw your also. Fine. No problem. Number 14. Draw an object with a vertical line of symmetry. Now you have to draw one figure which have only vertical line of symmetry. That means vertical line of symmetry. Suppose this D only. If I rotate it like this. That means the letter D only. Or you can say it's a shape also. We can say it's a uh, ball type of thing. So if it's a ball. Say I have to divide it into in two halves in this way. Fine. Then it cannot be divided into uh, in uh, through horizontally. So this figure will have a vertical line of symmetry. So this is my figure. You can draw your own figure also like this. So many figures you can make in this way. Fine. So that is question number 14 solution. So space is given students in all this question. No need to write in uh, copy. Everything you can do in the uh, workbook itself. Now uh, long answer question that is number uh, 15. Now number 15 if you see. Uh, draw lines of symmetry through the given shape. Now some shapes are given students. We need to draw the line of symmetry through them. Now let us try one by one. Number 15. If you see the figure A, it uh, somehow looks like this. Fine. So we have to draw the line of symmetry or lines of symmetry. It may have more than one also. So let us try it. First it will be like this. Then one will be like this another one will be like this then one more left like this so and one more will be like can be in this way so you see students actually what is the hint or what is the uh, idea to draw you see the vertex this is one vertex through this vertex you draw one 
This is one vertex. You can draw through this one. This is one. You draw through this. This is one. Through this and this is one. You can draw through this vertex. That means if you draw a line of symmetry through the vertices, all these vertices, you will get a line of symmetry for this figure. So how many vertices it has? One, two, three, four, five. It has five. So that means it will have how many line of symmetry? Five line of symmetry it will have. That is the way you can draw it. Number B, if you see, it's uh, something first. It's a circle given. Then uh, somehow it is given like this, isn't it? Now, if I draw first one line, I can draw in this way. Okay. Another I can draw in this way also. Fine. So that means these are the only two line of symmetry that can this figure have. Not more than this two. In any other way, you will not be able to do it. Only in this two way you can do it. Okay. Now next number C. Number C. Its uh, figures uh, looks like this. Now students, we can draw two line of symmetry. One will be horizontal like this, and one will be vertical. Also, that means two line of symmetry we can draw. For this number C figure, and number D, it's a cylindrical thing. You can say like this. So if you see, it will not be possible to divide uh, uh, in the in the horizontal way. So it will be through vertical only. We will be able to divide. Fine, students. Now say actually students the below figure is not given but actually we can do it in this way also yes because uh, you can say the below part and upper part since it is a 3D figure so we will not be able to see so 3D figure this can be divided in the both way also because you can say it's consider you can say cylinder or say glass so we can divide it like this also uh, through vertical and through horizontal also we can divide it into two equal parts one. Then uh, question number sixteen. Now question number sixteen. It is uh, question number sixteen. If you see, and students, I told you, you can pause the video right now, or you can uh, draw this figure. Fine. Now question number sixteen. Let us see that. Question number sixteen. It is draw and mention lines of symmetry for the following figures. That means draw and mention means. You need to find out that how many lines of symmetry will be there, and you have to draw it also. Now, see, so this, it will be difficult for me to draw the exact figure here. So, still, uh, I will try to do it. Uh, it's a star-like of uh, shape, you can say. Yes, somehow like this. Now, if you see, students, so here also you have to follow that rule only. You have to divide it through the. Corner. That means this is one corner, one line. So this is one corner. It will go like this. So this is one corner. It will move like this. Then this is one more. Say this one. It will go like this. And finally this one corner is left. So it will go like this. See, I have not been able to uh, draw the uh, proper figure because this is a printed one. So you have to draw here only. So that means you don't need to draw any figure. You just need to show the lines of symmetry. Simply you put the lines of symmetry through the vertices. That means the through the corner. So how many corner it has? One, two, three, four, five. So we can say how many line of symmetry? Five line of symmetry it has. Fine. Now similar to students, number B you have to do by yourself. So you can say number B will be your homework. Uh, number D, then uh, number C, D also you can do by yourself, students. Fine. So you have to write down below that uh, that it has number A, it has how many? Say five line of symmetry. Then similarly number B, number C, number D will have how many line of symmetry? You have to draw the figure here and you have to write down the answers also. That how many line of symmetry you got for B, C, D also. So that will be your uh, homework, students. Fine. It's a very easy question. I know you can easily do it. And you don't need to uh, do it anywhere. Do it here. Click a picture of this, and you can send it to me through WhatsApp. No problem. Similarly, students uh, below you can see I apply question number seventeen. Short answer. Complete the following figures about the dotted line as the axis of symmetry. Page number fourteen. 
you can see there is an octopus given and there is a leaf given half part is drawn you have to draw the remaining half part so that will be also your homework that is question number 17 a b then uh, question number 18 also same you need to draw this particular remaining figure and here also remaining figure you have to draw so that you will be doing by yourself because that will take time here to solve and it is very easy to draw i know because if i start drawing the figure here it will take more time so you can do it very well at home easily so number 18 will be your homework so uh, question number 19 see students is draw and color the next two shapes in the given pattern so you have to draw two patterns here on the right hand side here also what will be the next two patterns and you have to color it now coloring part student you have you can do by yourself at home this is not possible here to show so that's why you will be doing this number a b of 19 also as a homework so students i am giving you all together say question number 16 b c d then question number 17 18 and 19 this will be your homework uh, for this to, for today's class they are very short questions it's about only diagram so you can easily do it fine so that will be done in the next class that is on thursday we will start from question number 20 fine then we will be able to complete it on thursday itself because there is only practice questions left so that will be done by this thursday and students here i just wanted to uh, uh, announce uh, something regarding the chapter test chapter test students this thursday it is 4 june i am going to take a chapter test and the chapter test for that you don't need to go to any other app in whatsapp only you will get a link on 4th zone that is on thursday we have a class on at 9 30. so at 9 30 say 9 30 to 10 you can say we will do this explanation part at 10 o'clock or maybe 10 or 10 10 or 10 15 i will share a link with you you have to go to that link click to the link then there will be a form coming and in that form you have to write down your name roll number whatever detail is necessary and after that you will get 10 optional questions that is mcq multiple choice questions you will get you need to just simple, simply uh, select the correct option and uh, as soon as your uh, questions, uh, all the questions are solved then you can uh, click the submit button. Immediately after submission you can see your score very well by yourself. You no need to wait for me also. That means sir will give you the, uh, give us the result. You can see your score at that out of 10 how much score you have uh, the uh, score that you can see immediately. Fine. So that will be done on Thursday. That means Thursday we will have our normal class also. Like this say 9.30 to 10 or 10.10. And after that I will share the link of the examination of the chapter test. Fine. So students be ready. And the chapter test will be from the first chapter. That is shapes. Because we are doing patterns right now. So I cannot take the test for this chapter. I will take it later. But since shapes is already over. So we are going to take the chapter test for the shapes. So students be ready, uh, just do the practice Thursday, we will have the chapter days as well as our normal class also. Fine. So let us meet on Thursday and uh, do the study well properly and send the homework on the uh, proper time as I will as assign the time and date. Fine. And students, uh, this time whenever you are doing the homework, you don't need to write down anywhere because all are from the workbook. You do the homework in the workbook, click a picture of that and you can send it to me. Okay. Thank you.